The first step of the reporting process for Product Recall New Zealand is receiving an email or SMS alert. If you have received an email alert, it will look like this. There is a link in the email that will take you directly to the notification where you can view it and access the reporting screen. Click on the link to be taken to the login screen. Enter your username and password and log into live mode. Using this method, you will be taken directly to the view details screen. Review the notification and click the report button when you are ready to report back on quantity found. Alternatively, you can access the notification by going to productrecallnz.org and logging in. In this case, you will see the received notification screen with the most recent notification at the top. Please note that a notification is at unread status if it has not been viewed or opened in any way by any other users at your store or site. There is an option to view summary to read a summary version of the full notification or view detail to see all notification details. You can also export PDF to download a PDF version of the full notification which can be printed. When you have reviewed the notification, click the report button to access the reporting screen. The reporting screen requires that you enter the quantity found of each product and once complete, that you update the reporting status in the corrective action status box. Please note that in this example, the unit of measure is in base units, however it may also be variable, for example a product that is measured by weight. Click on a product to report a quantity found. If you are reporting for a bid food distribution centre, you will be required by the support office to enter two separate comments indicating the quantity of products sold and the number of customers contacted. Please use the following format. First, enter the quantity found and in the comments section next to this, indicate the quantity of products sold, then click save and close. Next, click the product again, this time entering zero as the quantity found, and leave a comment indicating the number of customers contacted about this notification. Then press save and close again. Once you have finished reporting, select the complete status from the corrective action status field. Then click update. If you do not stock any of the affected products, you simply need to change the status to not ranged and then press the update button. If you return to the received notification screen after completing reporting, the status of the notification will now appear as complete for all users at your site or store. If a notification is updated, you will receive a new alert email with the word update in the subject line. You will need to log in again and view the updated notification. There will be two new sections on the notification called Reason for Update and Update Information. Read these to see if any of the updates affect your store. Then click on the Report button. If your reporting numbers have changed, you can add on the new quantity found or minus from the existing quantity. Otherwise, you can leave them the same. Then simply update the status again to complete or not ranged accordingly. Once you've finished reporting, you may wish to archive your notification, which hides it from your home screen.